Alright, hey everybody, Milo here, and today we're going to be playing some Pokemon, doing that VGC 2017 battles, which we will now be referring to them as Championship Battles, because that is the official Battle Spot ladder name for them. So, I have decided for my series, we will be going over some Junior Division teams. We are featuring the first place European International uh, VGC Champion in the Junior Division with this team right here. They have Prime Arena, with the uh, Prime Arena Z for the, for the item. Then we have a Marowak with a Thick Club for the item. We also have a Talonflame with a Life Orb, a Kartana with a Focus Sash, a Muck with with the uh, Expert Belt, and a Tapu Lele with a Choice Scarf. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Um, yes, we would like to battle with the party. So I decided, you know, not too many people feature Junior's team, so let, let's uh, let's do it. In fact, I don't. It's really hard for me to actually go and find the uh, the juniors team unless I actually go to the official Pokemon website, which I believe the person who won. Oh, and anyway, we got a first opponent from France with the rating of 1505. I believe this person's name was Matilda, if I remember correctly. But I don't know. It said on the Pokemon website. You guys can go look it up if you want. Um. Anyway, they are running a. Let's see if I can remember all these Pokemon. I already had a hard time before. Uh, Araquanid, I think that's the name of that one, Salamance, Porygon 2 it looks like, Tapu Coco, Celestila I think, and a Gigalith. So this this will be a pretty pretty interesting team. So what can we do here? Um, Prime Arena actually deals pretty well with the Salamance. I don't really need to worry too much from the... Uh... Actually, they have potential to Trick Room. I don't think they will though. They might, they might, they could potentially Trick Room. Oh, let's take... Let's take Talonflame. We could taunt. Then let's take maybe Talonflame, Tapu Lele. But I don't know if I like leading with Tapu Lele because of the uh, the Terrain Wars, which is basically Weather Wars except for a, a new effect, Terrain. Or I guess it might be an older effect. I'm not entirely sure. Um, let's go with... Um, man, let's go with, I want Muck, I want Prime Arena, and I think I want Artana or Tapu Lele, um, I'm gonna go with Tapu Lele. Alright, it's done. It's been decided. Oh, well, I have no idea how to properly use this team, so I am sorry. This is probably gonna be me just getting destroyed for a little while until I figure it out. But I will do my best to figure this out. It's been a while since I actually played competitively, too. I've been gone on vacation before I started up with school again. So I am also taking classes now. I am taking just just currently just one class, just Japanese. So it's, it's been pretty entertaining and fun. So anyway, let's see here. He led with Salamance and Gigalith. Okay, I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that at all. Um... I could set up a Tailwind here. I think that just might be my best bet, just setting up a Tailwind. Because I should have priority to get the Tailwind off. Um, if I set up the Tailwind, and I protect, I'm still going to get outsped by Salamance, I think, with my Muck. Um, well, let's do it. Let's just find out what happens. Let's let's try and play a little safe. Because I don't actually know, like, all the speed tiers for this, this, new, uh, this new stuff. But it is nice to have priority Tailwind. But at the same time... Okay, we protected with our Muck. So is he gonna go... What's he doing with his, uh, his Z-move on Salamance? Devastating Drake. Um, what is that hitting? It is hitting my... My Muck. Okay, and we protected, so we should be able to eat that. Oh, we, we take that nicely. But I couldn't fully protect. That's kind of annoying that you can't fully protect. But I guess it's good, because Z-moves are... Pretty, pretty big. Um, Talonflame, unfortunately, goes down. 
Did I get the tail window? I think I did. I think that's like the first thing that happened. Should have been. Um, anyway. Let's see. Uh, Primarina, I think, would be good here. It threatens both of those Pokemon. I can Rock Tomb the Salamance and go for like a Scald or something on the Gigalith. Um, I have Tailwind, right? Yeah, okay, I do. Just wanted to make sure. Um, let's actually go for a Z Power. Let's actually, let's, why not? Let's do this. Onto the Gigalith. And then let's go for a Rock Tomb onto the Salamance. So Talonflame, so far I've just been able to get a Tailwind up with it. Oh, he's going to send out Tapu Koko. Okay, a Poison Jab there would have been better. Well, Rock Tomb's not too bad, though. Electric Surge. He's going to withdraw Gigalith. Into Porygon 2. He did go for a Z move there, though, so hopefully it does a, a decent chunk of damage. Rock Tomb. Not a huge chunk of damage to that Tapu Koko, but we should be able to Poison Jab. Um, and then I'm going to need to switch out my Primarina because she is weak to Tapu Koko. Did I bring something that can switch into an electric type? Uh, yes, I did actually. No, wait. It's on the team, but I didn't bring it, did I? <laughs> uh, no, I didn't bring it. Um, anyway, we can swap Tapu Lele in. Then Muck, we can go with a... I'm going to go for a Poison Jab on the Tapu Koko. I think that makes the most sense here. Because what makes the most sense for him to do? A Electric Attack into the Primarina spot. Unless he could Discharge, but he'd have to like protect his Oregon 2 or possibly... Well, no. Yeah, I, th I think this just makes the most sense. I'm trying to... Trying to get back into the groove of things. Oh, he's going to withdraw Tapu Koko, huh? Into Salamance. Okay, I need to withdraw my Muck. Because Muck has been intimidated. Hopefully we can get a poison off onto the Salamance, so that'd be nice. The Intimidate's not going to matter too much against the Tapu Lele, though. Any poison? Yes. Okay, cool. That is nice. I like that a lot. Try attack onto Muck. Um, I actually want to save Muck for that Tapu Koko. Let's see here. Or buy some poison. Um, I could protect here with Muck, I think. I think that might be the better option. Um, I think a Dazzling Gleam here would actually be decent. And then... How, mon how many more turns of Sand? Does it end this turn? Uh, no, Tailwind does, though. Okay. So, I think I should switch out Muck for Primarina. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Alright. We have Primarina back out there. Salamence is going to go for a Protect, though. That's alright, though, because he can just take some more Poison damage. I should have probably predicted the Protect and then went for a Moonblast onto that Porygon too. Try attack does a, quite a bit of damage. Alright, gonna get buffeted by the Sand, and Salamence is gonna take some poison damage too. Alright, Porygon 2. Uh, I was hoping to get knocked out by the Sand. Tailwind, unfortunately, peters out here, though. Um, we are choiced into Dazzling Gleam. That's fine. Um, I'm thinking I go for a Scald into the Porygon 2 spot, just in case I can get, like, a burn. Because I'm pretty sure Tapu Lele, the uh, Psychic Terrain, doesn't stop that kind of stuff. I think it just stops um, priority, I think, if I remember correctly. So yeah, let's 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 do that. Hope for a burn, and let's hope that I'm right. 
I should be right, right? Because I had my muck out and he... Okay, cool. We went first. Awesome. Better. Cool. But unfortunately, the sand is going to come back out. There's Tapu Coco. Um, I'm going to have to protect with my Marina, but I think that's obvious. But I think protecting with Prime Marina is obvious, though. So should I do it anyway? I think I want to... Here's what I'm going to do. As much as I want Muck to come in and knock out Tapu Koko, I don't know if Muck can survive anything at the health that he's at. So we're going to switch Tapu Lele out for Muck. And then we're going to protect with our Prime Marina. Then we're going to protect with our Prime Arena. And then I should probably switch out Prime Arena for Tapu Lele to get the, uh, well, I'm hoping maybe Muck will get knocked out and I'll just be able to switch back in. Okay, cool. That worked out. A little unfortunate that, uh, that I couldn't use Muck to knock out the Tapu Koko like I wanted to originally. At least we get rid of the uh, electric terrain. So we won't be getting hit as hard, but... But Prime Arena is definitely going to get knocked out here. So what is my best bet? Um, Moonblast, effective, effective. Eye Kick, effective, effective. Okay, let's see here. 95 on Moonblast, 90 on Sidekick, Dazzling Gleam, um, no, we want to go with Moonblast into the, into the Tapu Coco spot, and we will go for a, let's see, 90, 80, um, I guess we'll go for this, ooh, it's, oh, it, it hits all of them, let's not do that, um, let's go for Scald then into the Tapu Coco. Oh, hopefully that worked. I just was a little slow there. Oh no, I doubled into Tapu Coco when he protected. I should have... Oh, no. Uh-oh. I, I didn't get to choose the move that I... Okay, so maybe it'll work out. It definitely, it was not what I wanted to do. Oh, uh oh. Uh-oh. Bye, Tapu Lele. Super effective. That is... Still heat not good. So I, I lost this one. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Oh, well. That last move, I don't think it would have made a difference. I think I still would have probably lost, but... But... Yeah... Well, maybe if I doubled into the Gigalith, it would have been fine. If I would have, like, Scald and... Yeah, that might have been better. Oh, well. That's alright. We will be doing two battles, though. So hopefully I can make it up in the next... In the next battle. Those teams not too bad. Pretty interesting, pretty fun to use. But I would have liked to win. I think if I would have played it differently, I think I could have had a good chance of winning, especially that last turn if I would have went for a Moonblast and a Scald into Gigalith. I think that would have actually potentially got me the victory. Uh, we don't need to save it, that's okay. Because he protected with Tapu Koko. So... I think it would have been enough to knock it out, but I don't know for sure. Unfortunately, our rating is knocked down to 1484, but we did just start playing, so we should be able to get it back up. I'm holding it from Italy with a rating of 1470. Hopefully we can win. Oh, looks like they have Wishy Washy, Kartana, Tapu Koko, Mimikyu, Garchomp, and the uh, Salon Lizard thingy. I think it's a Poison Fire 
Blizzard. Um, what can we do here? Talonflame hasn't been putting in much work for my team except for just getting a Tailwind off. He does have potential to trick room though, so I don't really care too much for that. Um, I'm thinking possibly Tapu Lele Muck Lead. Let's see here. What else could potentially be a good... Um, Marowak seems pretty decent here besides the Wishy Washy. What do I have to deal with Wishy Washy? Um, oh, Tapu Lele has Thunderbolt. Okay, that's right. Um, should I bring Kartana? I think I'm going to bring Kartana. I think I'm going to do that. Let's let's try this out. Bring a little bit different Pokemon to the the field. Let's see here. What is he gonna lead with? All right, we led with our Tapu Lele and Muck against Mimikyu and Kartana. So I believe. I believe Kartana is... is it Steel Bug? I believe that thing can actually do quite a bit of damage to my Tapu Lele, so... I'm thinking we just switch that out real quick into possibly Marowak here. Yeah, I think that's a good option. Um, then we should probably go for a knockoff onto the Mimikyu. Just to break its disguise, I think. Let's break its disguise, I mean. And knock off whatever item Mimikyu is potentially holding. Because I believe Mimikyu, I think I've seen it do things like with Z moves, like Z moves splash or something like that. Mimikyu. Battle Ball. Ooh, that was pretty good. Mimikyu's disguise. All right, served as a decoy, but we broke its disguise. Mimikyu's red card. Okay, we knocked off its red card. Okay, let's um, let's now go for a flare blitz into the Kartana spot. I think with a. I think we should poison jab the Mimikyu because we could potentially get a poison off on it. Should we do that? Should we do that? Let's let's try it and see what happens. I don't know. He's gonna withdraw Kartana. Okay, into Wishy Washy, so Flare Blitz into that. Not really gonna be doing too much. Mimikyu goes for a Dark Pulse. Um, is it gonna take out Marowak? No. But it is super effective. Marowak's eaten a lot, a lot of super effective damage from that Mimikyu. Should have just went for the, uh... Oh, Marowak flinched and couldn't move, though. Um... I'm gonna switch Marowak out. He seems to be scared of my Marowak. Actually, I'm not gonna switch out just yet. I'm gonna protect, I think. I'm gonna protect Marowak. Um, maybe I should switch out. I don't know what, like, I don't know if, like, is Z-Move, like, common on Wishu? I don't think so. I think Citrus Berry would be more common. So, yeah, let's, let's do that, and then let's go for a, just another Poison Jab onto the Mimikyu. The Mimikyu's not really doing too much work. So I probably should have just, maybe I should leave it in. And start hitting other stuff. Battle Ball. Oh, on to Muck, huh? I'm pretty sure Mimikyu has higher um, physical attack than it does special attack. I could be wrong, though. I don't think I am, though. Hydro Pump. Okay, we do protect ourselves from that. Cool. Cool. All right, what is going to be happening next? Ok, 
because we need to get our rating up. I want to at least be able to get to 1600 with this uh, this junior division team. Um, I think I'm faster than Wishy Washy, so I'm gonna go for the Bone Meringue. Onto that was I I think I am, but I could very well be incorrect. Uh, let's go for a knockoff onto Wishy Washy, just because I feel like that Pokemon would want to have like a citrus berry or some kind of berry that heals itself. Alright, Muck is still surviving. But I feel like this guy's moves are not common moves. Alright, super effective. Knock it out with hitting one time with that bone meringue. Okay, unfortunately, Marowak is going to go down now, though. I probably should have considered saving Marowak. Because my opponent did seem kind of nervous with his Kartana, so I might actually lose now. I completely forgot that he had Kartana. Yeah, he sent it out Kartana now. Uh, we're going to send Tapu Lele out. I don't know if I like sending Tapu Lele out. Uh, what else could I have sent out? My own Kartana. Um, I might actually do that. I'm gonna have to do that, yeah. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna leave my Kartana, my Tapu Lele in. And I'm gonna go for a... A Dazzling Gleam would not be very effective over there. What about a Thunderbolt? Not very effective. Um, how about a Psychic? Not very effective. Well then, I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt onto the Wishy Washy, because everything's not very effective anyway. And then a knockoff onto the Kartana. Tapu Lele is going to get the Thunderbolt off. Hopefully we're knocking out that Wishy Washy, leaving him with just a Kartana. And then I am up 3-1, to one, so I think I can win, but he's going to exit. Oh, my Muck. Did not expect him to... Hit my muck with that. I kind of expected it to go into the Tapu Lele. Um, okay, we are choiced into Thunderbolt, so let's just do that. And then I guess we would go for a a knockoff because it's effective and it's not resisted, but there's no item, so that kind of sucks. Because we already knocked off that item. <laughs> Alright. Thunderbolt, how much damage? Wow, a lot more than I expected for not very effective. But I think Kartana's pretty frail, so. And we are going to move first with our Kartana, and we do know that it's enough to knock out. Actually, does that boost speed? No, attack. Okay, cool. But as I was saying, we are going to be able to pick up a victory here with our second game. So hopefully I can figure out how this team works properly and get it up to at least 1600 rating. That would be nice. I'm going to try and start doing this series daily like I used to do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. But like I said earlier, I did just start school so I don't know if I'll be able to do this daily. I'm going to try my best though for you guys. All right, we were able to pick up a victory. So one loss, one victory. Kind of sucks that we couldn't get the victory first, so our rating would have been better. We could have went against could have went against more competitive players. But it is what it is. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, go and hit that like button, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all that good stuff. It really does help me out, and I really do appreciate when you guys do that. So thanks again, and goodbye, friends.